Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at texturizing a shape in Illustrator and for this we're going to use a traced photograph, a traced texture. So I'm starting with just any size document, doesn't matter what size it is. I'll choose file and then place. Now I'm going to go and get my texture image. These are texture files from a person called Skeletal Mess. You can find their textures on Flickr. So I'm just going to grab one of these and click place. I'm going to drag to create it inside my document at about the sort of size that I want it to be. I'll click here on image trace. You're going to see image trace appear anytime that you click on a photograph in Illustrator. So this isn't a very good trace, that's fine. I expected it to look like that. I'm going to the image trace panel. I'm going to turn off preview because I want to make my settings before I go and do a second trace. I'm going to set this to color. I'm just going to do it as limited, that's just fine. I'm just going to check advanced and see what I've got here. Well. I'm just going to bring these in a little bit. I don't want a really high quality trace here. I usually put paths and corners about the same place and noise a bit opposite that. So here I'm going for less noise, but I'm also going for a little bit less on the paths and corners. So now I'm ready, I'll just click preview and wait as Illustrator does the trace. If your machine bogs down at this stage, you may want to close any open applications. And if you're working on a Windows machine and it's still causing problems, just restart that computer from scratch before you do this to give yourself the best possible chance of getting through a trace because this is a fairly intensive sort of process for your computer. Now my trace is done, I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going up here to expand because what I want to do is to expand this into its component parts. So now I have hundreds and hundreds of paths. So I'm going to add the shape that I'm going to use. Now this can be any shape you like, I'm just going to make a circle, but you can go and draw or use any shape that you have. So I have a circle here, let's just give it a fill so we can see it. So this is what it's going to look like. Now at this point, you're going to sacrifice this circle. So if for some reason you want this circle to exist in the document as well as have a circle that's filled with a texture, you're going to need to make a duplicate of this before you go. So I'm going to select this, I'm going to choose Edit Copy and I'll choose Edit Paste in Place. So the duplicate is right on top of the original. So let's just make it a different color so we can identify it. Let's go to the layers panel. What I'm going to do is lock down and turn off this green copy because that's going to be my spare if you like. I need it because I'm going to sacrifice this blue one in the process of getting it filled with the texture. So next up I'm going to select the texture and the blue circle. It's important that the blue circle is on top of the texture because what we're saying to Illustrator is whatever shape is at the very top of our selection, we want you to cut absolutely everything else underneath to that shape. So the blue circle has to be on the top. We'll go to the Pathfinder palette. You can get to that by choosing Window and then Pathfinder. This option here is Crop. So we're just going to click Crop. And we end up with a shape that is our texture. So this is again made up of hundreds and hundreds of shapes, but we've lost everything around the outside. So the only content we have is the stuff that's in the middle of this circle. And of course, if we want our original circle back, we're just going to make it visible. And in this case, I'm just going to give it a stroke instead of a fill and just increase the stroke. So you can see that we lost our blue circle, but we still have that green circle and it's in place in our image. So you can use that process at any time to vectorize a photograph, a texture, and then use it to effectively fill a shape, even though that's not what you're doing. What you're doing is actually cropping the texture to the shape in Illustrator. Before we finish up, I have more Illustrator training at Skillshare.com. When you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes there, including over 250 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and typically mine will be better. I also have Illustrator training at Udemy.com and there's a referral link for every one of those courses in the description below. Please feel free to share these with family, friends and co-workers. 
I hope you've enjoyed this video and learning things about Illustrator of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.